is 650. Now, if you're getting money out today, you could be one of the first people to get your hands on the new plastic 20 pound note ben you've got one i have one already there we go that's it yeah um and we should call them polymer to be fair oh, okay. not plastic to give them their official title um and look, they've been with us for a while we've had the uh, fiver we've had the tenor already um now the 20s come into circulation from today stop fighting over it i need that back by the way as well just to be <laughs> clear uh, now, the Bank of England started using these polymer notes, uh, all designed to sort of improve security. Um, the existing £20 note is one of the most uh, common in circulation, but also the most commonly forged. So this is about improving security. All sorts of things on it, as Charlie's discovering. It's got the see-through window, it's got holograms, all of that that makes it hard to, to forge. Um, they're also much stronger as well. Um, the polymer note expected to last two and a half times longer than a paper one. Um, so they're in circulation for a bit longer. And they will also be cleaner because unlike paper, they don't pick up as much dirt uh, and moisture. Um, but we should be aware they're also uh, made of something called tallow in them. Um, and that's a problem because that's an animal fat. Um, it means that it's anti-static. Uh, so if you're getting it out of the cash machine, for example, that's quite good news. It's anti-slip as well. Useful if you're getting it out of the cash machine, but not so good for vegans. They say they prefer an alternative. Um, so let me talk you through some of those security features on them. Uh, for the first time, the notes will have two security windows and it's also got two colour foil. Uh, that makes it very difficult to counterfeit. Um, and there are also some raised dots on the side. That's a bit like Braille for visually impaired people. Um, and you might have noticed there, it features the life of the artist Turner uh, and his famous painting, The Fighting Temeraire. Now, um, even it's got so tech that you can take a picture of it using your smartphone and it will give you a sort of visual history of yeah. Turner's art and the painting uh, and all that sort of stuff. So these are the security features that should make it harder to forge. It's also kind of got two textures to it. Some of it's really smooth and then some of it's got sort of a raised profile on it as well. So what do people make of all of this? Uh, well, we went out to see what they made of the new 20. That's really cool. I really like it. I think it looks really smart. And it's about time that we just get rid of all the paper money. Because working in a coffee shop, you just want like it all nice and uniform. I feel like I should know who this person is, but I don't know who they are. Um, know who that person is. I've seen them on the crown. I like this one. Which one do you prefer? The new one. Yeah, the new one. Can I try and rip it? I mean, that's the test, right, innit? That you... Keep trying. Oh. Uh, OK, that's <laughs> That's the test right there. So, aren't we meant to be using less cash anyway? Does yes. it really matter? You know, do they really need to change it? You might wonder why they're investing so much money into this. Uh, quite clearly because of the security things I talked about. Uh, look, there's £70 billion pounds worth of banknotes still in circulation. So, you know, there's a lot for them to change. Uh, the number of cash transactions is falling, though. You're absolutely right. Um, and, look, there are 11 billion cash payments uh, in 2018. But that's forecast to fall to just under £4 billion by 2028. So, yes, using less cash, but really, really important for people who don't have a bank account. Still a lot of people in the UK just don't have a bank account at all. And people who just prefer good old-fashioned cash. Uh, and that's frankly, you know, one of the reasons that they're investing in it. What I'm going to do in the next hour is speak to the chief cashier at the Bank of England. Uh, and I love that job. And it's also the person who gets to sign them all. I say sign them all. Their oh, signature wow. appears on all of them. Uh, so when they launched the £10 note, um, I spoke to them then, that there's a new chief cashier um, in, in the job uh, who has signed the note. So we're going to speak to them in the next So time. other notes do exist. So the £50 note still yep. exists. Yep. And that stays paper, does it? For the time being. OK. How yes. often do you even see a £50 note? Well, you don't see them very often now, do you? Yeah. No. And, and I think and for, uh, that's why they do are... Do other notes exist? Fivers and tenors. Fivers, tenors and fifties. And fifties, And twenties. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So, uh, fives and ten is already polymer, mm. uh, 20 the latest, um, and as we said, the most commonly uh, forged, so kind of one that they were really keen to do. Uh, and the Bank of England had um, launched these, it was uh, Mark Carney, because r around the world, polymer or plastic notes are really common in other countries, particularly places like Australia. So we're very late to the game in this country to have come up with these. Uh, but now, as we said, so many of the security features on there that should make them harder to forge. The funny thing is, I mean, I'm holding up, can you see that on six? That, so the old 20, the paper 20 and the, and the, the new one, the polymer, mm -hmm. You get to used to things quickly. I don't think about it yeah. now in relation of fives and, and tens. Yeah. 
There is something about the feel of a... But I mean, I know it, it sounds like yeah. nostalgia and it's, you know, we move on, but there is something about yeah. the feel of a paper note. It is fundamentally different. But you know when it takes something new to make something else look really old? I think that's really... Like, the I old no, 20 now looks really it, it, outdated already. I quite it like it, It feels quite though. clunky and chunky and, you know... But can Very I, carefully. You know, and now, I, am I right in hearing that... The, I'm hearing in my ear that the bigger notes do exist, but not in circulation. The, yes. The, the, yes, the, the Bank of England hold oh, yeah, bigger yeah. notes. Yeah, but they're but just not, not using it in the shops. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, try using a 50 in a shop. Yes. You know, never mind going in with, with anything else. So, uh, yeah, 50 is not widely accepted, so that's why it's been less of a focus. So the 20s, as we said, uh, more of them in circulation, more commonly forged. So the idea of that thing uh, is to, uh, to mean that it's a bit more secure. So what do you do with your new £20 note now? Spend it. <laughs> I think the, do you have to give it back to the man who signs it? Uh, no, they, these are in circulation from today, so uh, they are legit. You can collect them from the machine, you can spend it from today. So shall I go and get a round of coffees? For, Sounds yeah. like for a the great next idea. For 7 o'clock. A bun. <laughs> can you get a bun? Uh, what do you think I'm a big spender? Meta money. <laughs> you are. You've got more than us, mate. <laughs> uh, we go. We are turning paper into plastic today. Well, not really plastic, is it, Ben? Polymer, okay. to give it its what technical is polymer? term. Polymer is a sort of plastic, to plastic. be fair, but it's also got a thing called tallow in it, which means that it doesn't stick as much, so it comes out of cash machines and things. And we're talking about it because, look, the new 20 is out today. It's legal tender. So that is the uh, new 20. That's the old one, just for comparison. Uh, you know what that one looks like. But this is a new one. Loads of security features in it. So it's got sort of two windows here, different types of hologram. It's also got a bit of Braille on the side of it to... Really glad that I cleaned my fingernails last night. <laughs> um, look, and that is uh, legal tender from today, uh, so you'll be able to get those. Um, a lot of you asking, actually, about the old ones, you'll still be able to use them for at least six months. The Bank of England says it will give six months' notice before it withdraws the old one, uh, and it hasn't done that yet, so there's plenty of time. Um, and this is because the £20 note is one of the most common in circulation, but it is also the, more, the most forged. Um, so they've added a whole load of security features to try to clamp down on that. We've already got the Polymer £5, we've already got the Polymer £10. The 50 is coming in a couple of years, they're working on that. Alan Turing is going to be on the back of that one. On here is the artist uh, Turner and the Fighting Temeraire is the image on the back. Um, so what do people make of this new 20? Because, look, it takes a little bit of getting used to. It feels quite different. Uh, we uh, asked a few people in Manchester yesterday what they thought. That's really cool. I really like it. I think it looks really smart and it's about time that we just get rid of all the paper money. Because working in a coffee shop, you just want, like, all nice and uniform. I feel like I should know who this person is but I don't know who they are. Um, know who that person is. I've seen them on The Crown. I like this one. Which one do you prefer? The new one. Yeah, the new one. Can I try and rip it? I mean, that's the test, right, innit? That you... Keep trying. Oh. Uh, OK, that's <laughs> That's the test right there. <laughs> that really is the test. Uh, they're supposed to last two and a half times longer. So let's speak to Sarah John, who is the Bank of England's director for banknotes and also chief cashier. Her signature is on all of these notes. She joins us now from our London newsroom. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, just give us a sense of what work has gone into this. I touched on some of those security features. We'll have a look at them in a second. But give us a sense of how much work has gone in to get us to this point where the 20 is now polymer. This has been a very long time in the making. Um, this process started way back in 2015, actually, um, when we asked the British public who they wanted to appear on the next £20 note. Um, we got about 30,000 nominations, whittled that down to 590 eligible artists. Um, and from that, the governor chose um, Turner to appear on the back of this note. So that was 2016 that we announced that. Um, and since then, we've been working to get the artwork right, to get the security features right, and to bring it all together. Um, but as you said in your introduction, this is the most common banknote in circulation. There's over two billion £20 notes out there. So we've had the printing presses running for 16 months, five days a week, uh, 24 hours a day to print enough banknotes to replace that two billion stock. Um, and talk me through some of these security features, because the whole idea of you investing is that in this is to cut the number of forgeries. 
Absolutely. Um, and the move to polymer is a really big step in the process. It's much harder to counterfeit a polymer note than a paper note. As you said, we've got a whole host of security features on the new note. Um, the ones in particular that I'd point out, I don't know if you can see this note here, and um, there's a little hologram down here that if you twist it, it turns from saying 20 to saying pounds. Um, and if you look in the window, we've got a lovely foil that shows Margate Lighthouse um, and Turner Contemporary in blue in the background. Um, and with the Queen's head next to it. Those are some of the really key security features to look for on this note, as well as this little secondary window down at the bottom here, which should have little 20s raised printed over the top of it. Um, and as you said, lots of new security features. The £5 and the £10 have already changed. What evidence is there to suggest that it does cut forgeries? We've seen very, very few counterfeit attempts of the £5 note um, and the £10 note. So, so the early evidence is, is certainly strong, but the £20 is the most counterfeited note, so this is definitely the biggest test yet. Um, and the £50 note, of course, plans for next year already work going on there. Um, so lots of work, uh, and yet we're still quite late to the game here, aren't we? Other countries' polymer notes are much more common. So some countries have already um, got complete series of polymer notes out there. So Australia moved back in the late 90s um, and Canada have got a full series out there. But there are still a lot of paper notes out there as well. We're certainly at the forefront of polymer technology and actually we've got the real latest state-of-the-art security features on these new polymer notes. Sarah, it's Charlie in the studio uh, just sitting next to Ben here. Your, so sh your signature is on every, every single note, isn't it? I'm looking tiny. We can't even see it. It's just tiny in the top left-hand corner. <laughs> how many times did you actually, when you were doing that, how many times did you do it to get it right for that particular signature? <laughs> Uh, a lot. Really? Um, over and over again? <laughs> over and over again. Um, you do get to try a few different signatures and then choose the one that you like. Um, I think the biggest challenge I had was they said I needed to do it in a fountain pen, which is not a type of pen I normally write in. So I had to practice quite a lot to get the signature to come out properly with a fountain pen. I'm not going to say exactly how many signatures <laughs> I tried um, beforehand, but there were quite a lot on the table. <laughs> Well, it looks good. Sarah, thank you thank very much. You. Sarah John there, who is Chief Cashier at the Bank of England. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, uh, six months or so at least to use the old one, so no rush. But uh, it's funny, isn't it, how seeing something new makes the old one look really old it's all true. of a sudden. It's, true. it's still worth £20, though. That's for true, yeah. a bit Can I longer? have it back, please? No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> ben, thanks very much. Time now, uh, 7.56. That means it's time to get the news. Travel on the